Hi, so in the previous video um, I went through the process of supposedly repairing this uh, remote unfortunately it failed again, I did add that to the description so I've been looking at it again um, I'm not sure really if I'm getting anywhere or not with it what I've done is I've tried to reflow this chip using the hot air gun instead of just individually doing each pin with the, uh, the soldering iron so that if it needed to sort of reposition itself it would do that and yeah there's a few sort of clicks and uh, stuff like that but I don't think it's so much the chip repositioning itself more the fact that the actual board itself is uh, starting to delaminate um, the fiberglass is coming apart in layers it's got a kind of bulged area here now so yeah and I lifted a trace down here but that's not a major problem because these are just simply for uh, zero ohm resistors for different configurations of the remote so that's not a problem um, is it working well kind of at the minute yes but sometimes it it draws the current then it just sort of locks on um, so yeah I'm not quite sure what's uh, going on with that but it will sort of respond a little bit on the TV so I'm, I'm thinking probably it's just time to uh, to ditch it go on eBay you can pick up another one of these probably just a knockoff copy of them for less than a fiver so yeah that's fine but what I wanted to have a look at was the uh, the debugging sort of side of things for this chip. It was interesting to see that you've actually got an I2C uh, sort of pinout on this uh, sort of pogo pin style header thing here. So I've got uh, SDA and what well, should be SCL, but it's actually SCK on here. Um, they're hooked up to the oscilloscope and. Um, I was hoping to try and find uh, something on the uh, on those when the thing boots up or um, when you press a button, uh, but unfortunately not. Um, we'll have a look at the scope and I'll show you what I'm getting. Okay, so here we are looking at the scope. So I'm just going to put that on a single shot capture, and then if I turn the power supply on, that's what we get. So nothing of interest. There's no I squared C data there at all. It's just purely noise. And uh, yeah, that doesn't make any difference if you um, do that. And that's on the rising edge. If I do that on the falling edge, and uh, turn the power supply back on again, Only single. Yeah, we're getting nothing at all now on the uh, falling edge. So it won't. It's only. Uh, it's only getting something on the uh, rising edge there. But yeah, nothing at all. And if we just look at just get that back running, so if we press a button on the remote, we're getting some sort of yeah messy waveforms there. So this is just simply uh, simply noise. So there's nothing whatsoever coming off those uh, that I squared C interface, which is not surprising. I expect it was used for programming. I don't know if they had a system where they programmed it and uh, then you know the last command in the program was to disable the uh, the port afterwards and that is a possibility or it could simply be that because we've got these uh, various uh, jumper links for configuration that one of those might enable it most of them seem to uh, the traces go off to the actual uh, buttons on the remote control as opposed to uh, you know some sort of direct configuration on the uh, pins on the chip so there we are, so well, we attempted to repair it and at the minute it's kind of working uh, when it feels like it but I, I suspect that it's uh, just going to uh, die on me by the time I come to use it next time so yeah, go on eBay, pick up another one but at least it's uh, been interesting um, and frustrating trying to figure out um, what's going on with this I still don't fully understand what the uh, what the problem is and why it why it works sometimes and doesn't. I, I, I think it must be a, a, a bad trace somewhere um, because the board is bent um, but why when we've reflowed various uh, solder joints it sort of then started working again and then gone again uh, I don't know is it the heat maybe I'm just wondering if it's the uh, the act of heating the board is just enough to uh, to get something to join then once it sort of cools down and settles again it's uh, back to uh, not working so yeah, interesting. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. 
And if you'd like to see more interesting videos, then a uh, link to my Patreon is down below in the description. Catch you soon for the next one. Cheers.